Thanks. Here we go. My name is Bob Ramon, and this is a little presentation about wanderlust, or the art of living life in the margins of society. So this is for all of you. Listen, like hear these words, take them, accept them. But if you are considering getting up and going and moving and just seeing what the universe has for you to travel, listen up. Um, this was taken in uh, Wisconsin in a lake, Red Lake, earlier this summer. And I wanted to tell you that the dictionary says that wanderlust is a strong, innate desire to rove or to travel about. Um, some people will tell you that wanderlust is defined by where you've been or where you're going, what countries you've been to. Those people are wrong. Wanderlust is not any of that. Wanderlust is about wanting to always be being somewhere else, to always be experiencing something new, to go out and find something that you haven't seen before. I was born in a small town called Deming, New Mexico. Deming, New Mexico, woo! Let's hear it for Deming. I've never heard that much cheering for Deming ever. In the sum total of my life all at once. Uh, so. It's not that I realized at an early age I didn't want to be near Deming, but my family moved around a lot and just kind of stuck. If you've seen the movie Big, you've seen Zoltar. I just traveled up to New York City a couple weeks ago, met with my brother, and I received a fortune from Zoltar, which I have in my pocket. I'd love to show you afterward. It talks about the way that we change only the sky and not our mind when we move around. So you can't run away from anything as you wander. It's just, this is what happens. Um, you may be wondering for yourself, do I have wanderlust? What does that mean? Well, just ask yourself, when is the last time that you went somewhere completely new, where you didn't know anyone, didn't know anything, just to try something new? And also, is it possible for a person to contract wanderlust? Uh, it's not an STD, you can't catch it by sleeping with someone who has it, but you're welcome to try. And yeah, you can absolutely catch it. You can absolutely get this in your blood, I'm telling you. So what does it look like for a person when they have wanderlust, when they're always moving? And the answer is there is not one way that that looks. Wanderlust is bigger than any one person's experience. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about the way that I do it, because that's boring. I will tell you that just about everybody I know who wanders the way that I do has these three objects happening in their life at all times. A spirit of adventure, a little bit of money, and some good people. So that's what you need. And if you have even a little bit of all three of those things, look at this. You can do it any number of ways. You can have just a little bit of adventure and a lot of money, a lot of people. It's just It doesn't matter. Just go. If you have some money, if you have a big spirit, that's all that it takes, I promise you, to find something new. This is kind of my working model. Uh, the money is the very tiny, smallest little red one because I don't have a lot of it but sometimes I feel like I do. My spirit of adventure is a good size and it's always growing, but the people are really what enables me to, uh, to live the life that I enjoy and that I love. So this is a quick visual reminder that everything that we know and love and experience and every person that is part of our life is happening on a speck in the middle of that picture of the Milky Way galaxy. So if you disagree with some things I'm about to say, just keep in mind, none of us really know what we're doing here. We're all just in this together. Um, and you're already living your life. This isn't a drill. This isn't like the practice. You're not going to wake up one morning and realize this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. This is already that moment. So if you're considering getting up, going, trying, moving somewhere new, trying something new, do it already. Um, this is a big part of the way that I live. It may not be your flavor. Maybe you're into consuming. Maybe you're into owning a whole lot of nice things. I like nice things. Just don't have a lot of them or a lot of use for them. So this to me is a big part of what enables me to do what I do. I was just in Nashville, Tennessee recently, and I uh, took, Nashville, here we go. Deming got a bigger response in Nashville, that amazing. <laughs> um, I was at a karaoke pub, took that picture, didn't know anybody in the picture. Two weeks later, I was staying with some people from that home, and everyone in that picture became my best friend in a matter of moments. I didn't know any of them, they followed me on Instagram, and now we're fast friends. Uh, this is, again, I just wanna reiterate that if you are wandering, if you are traveling to get away from something, or to run away from problems, it's not going to work. David Brothers talk about it in that song. You've got to be already at peace with yourself as you go. David Burns from The Talking Heads also talks a little about, about the notions of home. I don't have a home, I'm homeless. Everything I own is downstairs in the green room, and I don't know really where I'm gonna sleep tonight or how any of that works, it's not important. Home is more about what you carry with you and about what you're up for seeing. So if you want to try Wanderlust, if you wanna try getting up and going, um, take a new way home from work tomorrow. Try something else. Go to a new Circle K to get gas. Uh, just <laughs> try deviating a little bit from everything that you already do. And if you think you could get used to this, you could kind of like this, you might enjoy being homeless and not knowing where you're gonna go. Start getting rid of your stuff that you don't need. Uh, just give it away, <laughs> just let it go. And then when it's time, uh, just wander. And I promise you, that you will find more about yourself and more about humanity, more about the beautiful life experience that we get to share with each other as you go and you find yourself in new places. So 
Thanks for listening, guys.